So this is the first time I've been to Guatemala and we've come to Guatemala City to look at the issues and the solutions to plastic pollution. And I have seen pictures and I've seen videos of the uh, plastic in the river, but honestly, seeing it for the first time, I was absolutely shocked and gobsmacked by what I saw. The amount of trash in the river, the amount of textiles flowing down was truly an unforgettable moment. For example, between where we are now and Guatemala City, there are about 15 illegal dump sites where people are just throwing their trash in the river and it's flowing down here and being caught at Interceptor 006. But further down the river, more trash is thrown in and that is being stopped at the uh, 021, which is in Rio Matagua, at the mouth of the Gulf of Honduras. The River Las Vacas starts in Guatemala City. Uh, Guatemala City is a particular case. You have, when it starts to rain in the city, the river grows and takes all the plastics from out of the city to the Motagua River. And that finishes in the Gulf of Honduras. And there you have the most important reefs. And also here in Guatemala, you have uh, several reefs, which we have one of the biggest one, and it just affects the ecosystem. In the beginning, this playa was repleta de basura. Pues también hacen limpieza permanente de playa, los 8 kilómetros que hay eh, de playa entre Guatemala y Honduras. Eh, the Ocean Cleanup firma un convenio con el Ministerio de Ambiente y a través de ellos pues hemos, se ha mejorado la retención con la barrera interceptora 021 y se espera eh, retener hasta un 90% de los residuos que flotan en el río Motagua. In El Quetzalito, we have working uh, 44 persons that are contracted by the Ministry of Environment. For them, it's like their income, their main income. It is a small community, about like 400 persons. Desde la mañana que entramos, este, seleccionamos el plástico, después lo compactamos. Pues representa mucho, porque a base de esos ingresos, pues gracias a ellos hemos obtenido muchas cosas. Y le doy las gracias de parte de todo mi equipo a Ocean Crino por esa ayuda que nos han dado. La contaminación del río Motagua ha venido a afectar en cantidades grandes. Ocean Crino ha venido a beneficiar de manera grande. Se ha retenido lo suficiente basura y se ha visto el cambio. Seleccionamos lo que es PET, chatarra, aluminio, PP, hasta leña. Tenemos jabón, acá nos bañamos, tenemos guantes, tengo prestaciones, tengo todo. Y gracias a Dios este, puedo llevar un plato de comida a mis hijos, ¿verdad? We cannot achieve our vital mission alone. And we're grateful to Kia as our mission partner for really helping us to drive engagement and deliver lasting change and solutions. This won't happen overnight, but if everybody works together, if the government, the public services, the education system combines to raise awareness of the plastic pollution problem, they can affect real lasting change in the near future. <laughs>